most of us, probably around 80%, still use Chrome as our main browser. But what many people don't know is that in today's AI-driven world, there are new browsers out there packed with incredible features and smart AI tools that can actually make your online life a lot easier. These aren't just small changes. These browsers have reimagined how we work, search, and stay organized on the internet. So today, we're introducing you to the top three browsers we've personally tested and found to be the most useful. We think these could help you get more done, save time, and browse more safely. Let's keep on watching. The first AI browser we tried is Arc. What stood out was how clean and organized everything felt. The sidebar really changed how we handled tabs and tools. It was like things finally made sense without us trying too hard. Let's explore what this platform offers. One of the first things we noticed about Arc is its sidebar. It replaces that old row of tabs sitting on the top of the browser. Instead, Arc keeps everything lined up vertically along the side. It sounds like a small change, but it makes a huge difference. If you've ever had 10 tabs open and couldn't remember what was what, you'll see how helpful this is right away. Each site has a little logo and name, so you don't have to click around guessing which tab is which. Let's say you're doing research for school or work. Maybe you've got news articles, videos, a Google Doc, and maybe even a calendar open. In Chrome, it turns into a mess quickly. With Arc, you just put all of that in one section of the sidebar. They call them spaces, so you can make a space just for that one project and everything related to it stays together. It's focused. It feels like having different rooms for different parts of your life instead of piling everything in one place. Now, comparing this to Chrome, you know how tabs just keep stacking up? There's no built-in way to group them visually. You either open a new window or try to use extensions, but it's never clean. That's where Arc feels easier. You don't have to manage it, it just stays neat. And that made a big difference for us. Something else that changed how we worked was Arc's workspaces. These are like mini browser profiles inside one window. Each one has its own sidebar, its own tabs, and even its own settings if you want. We didn't realize how helpful this would be until we tried it. So think about this. You have work stuff, personal stuff, maybe even a hobby or side hustle. In Chrome, all of that ends up mixed together. Your personal email sits right next to a company dashboard, and before you know it, you're answering a client email in your weekend mood. Arc lets you keep those worlds apart. You can have a space for just work, one for personal stuff, and another one for anything else you're into. You switch between them with one click. You're not opening new windows or digging through bookmarks. And again, this isn't something Chrome does well. Sure, you can open different Chrome profiles, but it's slow and feels disconnected. In Arc, it's all in one place, but still feels totally separate. That alone made our daily routine smoother and we didn't have to think about it. There's this small feature in Arc that changed the way we multitask. It's called Split View. Basically, you can open two sites side by side in one tab. Not two windows, not flipping back and forth, but actually having both open at once. This came in handy during meetings, for example. We'd have the Zoom call on one side and notes or a document on the other. Or maybe you're watching a tutorial and following along at the same time. It keeps you in the flow. With Chrome, you'd have to open two windows and drag them next to each other, which works, but it's clunky. Arc just makes it smoother. Again, it's not about having fancy features. It's about feeling like the browser is working with you instead of against you. That's what we kept noticing with Arc. We weren't thinking about switching from Chrome when we opened Microsoft Edge again, but the first thing that got our attention was how naturally it fit into everything we already use on a Windows device. Especially if you work with Word, Excel, Teams, or even Outlook, this browser feels like it knows what you need before you even go looking for it. 
So, let's see what features and benefits this platform offers. One of the most useful things we found was Edge's AI tool called Copilot. This isn't just a random chatbot sitting there. Copilot sits on the side and actually works with you while you browse. Let's say you're reading a long web page. Maybe it's an article or a research paper, or even a product guide. Copilot can summarize the main points for you right then and there. We tested it while researching vacation plans. We had 10 different hotel pages open, some blogs with travel tips, and a few airline deals. Normally in Chrome, you'd have to switch between tabs or copy things into another tool just to organize your thoughts. In Edge, we clicked the Copilot icon and it gave us a breakdown of the key info from each page. It helped us figure out prices, weather, and even travel times. It felt like we had a personal assistant helping with planning. Edge just gives you this smart layer that works without getting in the way. That made a big difference. Another feature that changed the way we worked was vertical tabs. Instead of lining tabs across the top, Edge lets you stack them on the left side. If you've ever struggled to read tiny tab titles or accidentally close the wrong one in Chrome, this is a breath of fresh air. When you have many tabs open, they stay visible with the site's name and icon, so you're not guessing. Let's say you're doing a class project or preparing a report at work. Research pages, docs, reference links, and video tutorials all stay stacked neatly. It actually makes it easier to stay on track. Now, Chrome has tab groups, and yes, they help a bit. But they're still sitting across the top, and when the tab count goes up, it gets harder to follow. With Edge, the vertical layout just feels more natural for serious multitasking. We didn't expect to use collections that much, but it quickly became one of our favorite features. Think of it as a smart clipboard that remembers the pages you care about. You can save images, links, notes, even snippets of text, and group them into folders. And the next time you open your browser, it's right there. No digging through your history, no re-googling the same thing again. Just click on collections and pick up where you left off. Chrome has bookmarks, sure, but they're not this flexible. In Edge, it's more visual, more interactive, and just easier to manage. You're not organizing things later, you're doing it while you browse, without thinking about it. The last one is Brave. We didn't expect it to feel all that different from Chrome. But the second we started browsing, the ads were gone. No pop-ups, no weird banners, no waiting for trackers to load in the background, just clean, fast, private browsing. So it's time to see what it gonna offer us. The first thing we need to talk about is Brave's built-in privacy shield. This one feature alone makes a huge difference. Right from the start, Brave blocks trackers, cookies that follow you from site to site, fingerprinting attempts, and all those aggressive ad networks that slow down your browsing. And the best part? You don't need to install anything. It just works. Let's say you visit a news site. On Chrome, the page might be full of third-party scripts, ads loading on every corner, autoplay videos, and trackers trying to figure out what you like. On Brave, it loads faster and looks cleaner. You can read without distractions, and it doesn't feel like your device is working overtime to load the page. We remember loading the same page on Chrome and Brave side by side, and Brave loaded it in half the time using less data. It's those small moments where Brave really starts to show its value. Brave also includes an AI assistant called Leo. Now, Leo doesn't pop up or try to do too much. It stays tucked away until you call it up. You can ask Leo to summarize content, explain complex topics, or even help brainstorm ideas for a report or email. Here's an example. We were looking through a 3,000-word tech article, and instead of reading every paragraph, Leo gave us a summary with the key takeaways in seconds. It's not flashy, it's just there when you need it. And that's something we liked. It doesn't try to take over your browsing, it supports it. It feels more integrated, and that saves you time. Something we didn't expect was how much we enjoyed using Brave on video platforms like YouTube. 
because Brave blocks ads by default, even on videos, you can watch content without waiting for five second skips or sitting through two back-to-back -back commercials. And it's not just YouTube. It applies across most video platforms and streaming sites. Pages load faster and there's less buffering. Brave skips that whole mess. You install it and the clean experience is already there. So those are our takes on the best AI browsers, each with its unique benefits and features. We hope this video gives you a good idea of the possibilities and helps you make the right choice for your needs. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below.